even now. After all these years, I still wait. Come on already. Stretch those red strings out to me and finish this. The world is out of time. You need to kill me if there's going to be anything left worth saving. The virtual brain link cable will now be connected. This will hurt much more than it did in training. Be strong. Systems all green. Beginning SAS cable connection. Seems like you're okay. This aptitude test will determine your platoon assignment. Do your best. Yes, sir. Kasane Randall, identity confirmed. The other suppression force aptitude test will now begin. Exterminate all others. This test will decide my assignment. I hope I'm in the same platoon as Naomi. Thinking about it now won't do me any good. I have to focus. I should be able to complete the assignment as long as I'm calm. I can annihilate the other with my psychokinesis. Naomi even complimented me on how well it was suited for combat.
exam has entered the final stage. I feel like I'm in good form, but I can't relax just yet. Next. No matter what I face, I just need to apply everything I've learned from my training. I can win. Next. Mission successful. This concludes the aptitude test. Okay, that ends your training. You're an official member of the OSF from tomorrow. Cadets now have 24 hours of free time until then. Make sure to get some rest before your duties tomorrow. Understood. Kasane! So, how was the test? Pretty easy as usual. How about you? I was able to handle an actual SAS connection thanks to your advice. You have a lot of potential. You should be more confident. I'm just glad you were so calm. You said that you had that dream again. The dream about red strings. You've been having that dream since you were little. Yes. Don't take your hands off the red strings. I wonder if it has something to do with your power. I don't think it does from what I saw of the OSF's analysis of my power. Worrying about things we don't understand won't change anything. I'm more worried about you. I hope they put us in the same unit. Yeah. Me too. I bet we'll find out soon, though. People tend to misunderstand you, so I'd be worried if I weren't around to look after you. Look who's talking. You're so clumsy, I have to stick around to protect you from yourself. Uh, that's so mean. <laughs> hey, aren't we going to Sumeragi Tomb after this? Oh, yeah. They're doing a collaboration with Baki right now. You get a keychain with every fortune. I can't wait. You really like Baki, don't you? Of course I do. He's so cute. Come on, let's go. about anyone listening in and we can hear even if it's noisy it's nice you're right i even talk to myself in brain talk sometimes don't laugh if you hear me okay
There are a lot of people here. Well, the holidays just ended, and this is the Founding Father Yakumo Sumeragi's tomb. Wait, the collaboration event with Baki is at a gravesite? I think the country is trying to make Yakumo Sumeragi feel more like a familiar figure to us. Though people already pray to Yakumo like a god, so maybe they're familiar enough with him already. Yakumo, the hero who saved humanity. I think I saw him in one of my textbooks. He was wearing a mask. His face was injured during the Spring of Extinction. He's also the chairman's ancestor. That reminds me, I heard someone from the Sumeragi family is in our class. So? Anyway, I found where we can draw our fortune. My fortune is a really good one. I'm starting to feel better about my life in the OSF. What about you? Mine is horrible. Okay, then give me your fortune. Hey! Here, you can have my good fortune. You didn't have to do that. It's just a scrap of paper. I'm the big sister here. I just want to protect you from bad luck. Thank you. No problem. You know, on days like this, you could almost forget there are vicious others out there. Yes, but we live in a world where these others roam freely outside the city walls. The instructors are expecting a lot from you. They're sure you'll reach a rank near Septentrion in no time at all. I don't care about rank. I just want to protect you. Honestly, what did I just say? I'm your big sister. I'm the one who's going to be protecting you. <laughs> of course. Hey, I mean it. What is it? Oh, it's nothing. I was just thinking that the boy on the right was kind of cute. Really? They both look like they were OSF members. You might get a chance to talk to him when we get in. <gasps> you think so? That would be nice. Anyway, we got the Baki keychain we came for. Want to get a bite somewhere? Yes. Let's look for a cafe. An other alert, but today's other forecast said that there was no threat in this part of Suo. <sighs> They're landing here in the city. All units, double time! Come on the second way through! for warning. They're deploying the Scarlet Guardians. <laughs> Septentrion Karin and Fubuki. The Major Generals Karin Travers and Fabuki Spring. Karin Regiment, Fabuki Regiment, Plan A, roll out. Civilians, head to the shelter. They're Septentrions, so we should let them handle this. Let's get to the shelter. Oh, right. Let's hurry.
was defeated with one blow. Septentrion First Class, Brain Eater Major General Karin Travers is amazing! Brain Eater? So he eats brains like those others? No, his power copies the powers of other psionics. That's why he can use so many different powers. The other is fighting back, but Major General Travers is unfazed. Major General Spring freezes the other without hesitation. These Septentrions are amazing. This isn't the time to be watching TV. We have to evacuate. Dangerous. We're not real OSF yet. We can't just leave that person to die. We're the only ones here with the powers to fight others. If you want to save her, then let me do it. I'm going too. Fine. You take the right, I'll take the left. Got it. <laughs> just be careful. Don't push yourself too hard. I know, but there are a lot of others. Some people won't be able to get away. It's not safe here. Please, hurry to the shelter. Ye yes ma'am, thank you! There's still another left. You ready? Yes. We have to make sure no one else gets hurt. Let's eradicate it. Don't let your guard down. We'll take them out as we find them. Got it. It's Simuragi tomb. <gasps> Ten seconds from now. Yeah, they're in trouble. Even I can tell. Take care of the guy who got knocked down just now. I can handle that other alone. Got it. That's odd. You a civilian? Huh? It's her. Oh. You're OSF? Oh, no, I'm a cadet. I see. Either way, our goal is the same. What do you mean, goal? Are you an idiot? Huh? Shh, something's coming. Huh? What's coming? Here we go. Huh? Okay. You're OSF too. You can use brain talk. Do you see what's happening? Let's talk after we... Good work. That should take care of all the other readings around here. Yes. Kasane! I saved that boy! Nagi! You're okay! Yeah, Naomi saved me. Man, I must look like an idiot. I'm just glad you're not hurt. Thanks, sis. Oh, you two are sisters? 
Yeah, they're both OSF cadets like us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Nagi Carmen. This is Yuito Sumeragi. I'm Naomi. Naomi Randall. This is my younger sister, Kasane Randall. So it was you making all that trouble. The Scarlet Guardians have eradicated the others! Huh? You saved Ryujin Ward in that amazing victory over the others. What? Uh, well... What is this? A victory interview? It is. How do you feel? What? We should be able to talk here. Uh, what's going on? I'm Luca Travers. You're Septentrion 6th Class Luca Travers? It's embarrassing when you put it that way, but yes, that's correct. Are you all cadets? Please open your personal port so I can confirm your identities. No objections? Thank you. So all four of you are OSF cadets. Cadets aren't allowed to fight others. I, I'm sorry. Isn't OSF responsible for allowing others to enter the local airspace and putting civilians in danger? Kasane! You shouldn't say something like that. Those are some harsh words. But you're right, Cadet Kasane Randall. I'm sure you all have something to say, but first report to OSF Headquarters. Keep away from the press. Got it? Understood. What's that? Oh, casualties from the battle. Two OSF troopers on guard duty were killed. I think it's censored, but it's best not to look too close. Huh? Why? Because others eat human brains. Yes. Looking at headless bodies can have negative lasting effects on your mental health. Oh, I just imagined it. They should teleport or report them out. It's too far to the morgue and powers aren't omnipotent. We have time, so let's talk a little. I'm sure you know, but one person can only use one type of power. But each kind of power has peculiarities and aptitude. Just as there are types of powers, each person has strengths and weaknesses. To use them in combat, we must rely on devices to lessen the stress on the brain. That's why things that can be accomplished without powers, or things with low priority, are done manually. Right, sorry. Now then, I'll be going. That'd be us if we didn't get the others first. I wouldn't let that happen. We're all 567th class, right? We'll stick together and become great fighters. Y yeah Don't worry. I'll protect you, sis. Let's go. Oh, goodbye, Yuito. Nagi. What's wrong? Why didn't we go with them to headquarters? Because we can't. Those two are nothing but trouble. We should stay away from them. But... Are you interested in that Yuito guy? Well, I did think he was cute when I saw him at Sumeragi Tomb. I see. Then I'll check him out. Stay away from him until then. Check him? He's a Sumeragi. Sumeragi? You know, the chairman of the council. Oh, so he's the chairman's son. That will make him easy to check out. Kasane... You don't pay enough attention to things, so let me do this. Let's go back to headquarters for now. Oh, wait. Your hair clip is crooked. Huh? Let me fix this for you. There. That's better. Th thanks No, thank you for putting it on. I know you don't really like things like this. I like anything you make for me. This shows that we're sisters, right? Yeah, it's just for the two of us. You better take good care of it.
there are those cadets. You must be cadets Naomi and Kasane Randall. That was an amazing fight against those others. Huh? Just ignore them. Let's go. You're still just cadets, weren't you afraid? Your father is the CEO of Randall Industries. Was it his idea for you to become cadets? <sighs> Talk about femme fatales right here. You. You're that Kasane Randall. So what if I am? Kasane, don't be so cross. Ah, uh, come on, Shiden. That's not how you make friends. Captain Seto? I, I wasn't... First things first, I need to take care of this right now. You're cadets Naomi and Kasane Randall, right? I'm Seto Narukami, 2nd Regiment, 8th Platoon. Septentrion 7th Class Captain Seto Narukami? Hmm? Oh, you've heard of me. Yeah, that's what they call me. The Chief Sumeragi has asked to see both of you. Hurry to his office immediately. Chief Sumeragi? Is he related to Yuito Sumeragi? He's Yuito's older brother. Oh, right. You fought alongside Yuito Sumeragi. I'm sure you'll quickly come to realize that the Chief is stricter than his little brother. He's probably gonna chew you out for fighting without orders while cadets, but getting yelled at's part of your job. You'll be fine. I think you did a good job, though. Let's welcome our new members for this year. Kasane, Naomi, introduce yourselves. Kasane Randall, my power is psychokinesis. Pleased to meet you. Is that all? You seem shyer than I thought. All right, next. Yes, ma'am. I'm Naomi Randall. I'm Kasane's older sister, and my power is precognition. I can only see the immediate future, though. I'll do my best to help everyone out. I don't have much experience, but I'm glad to be here. That was a very good introduction, Naomi. The Randall sisters are our new members. Kasane graduated at the top of her class, and Naomi was fifth. They're both intelligent and very talented. That being said, they're just little ducklings who barely have their footing, so you all need to help them out. Now I'd like to welcome Shiden, who transferred from Kodama Platoon. Please introduce yourself. She then Ritter. My power is electrokinesis. I don't plan on being your friend. <laughs> Let's
Looks like you're still in your rebellious phase. What? Let's see. Gemma, you know Shiden, right? He's stubborn, so he didn't fit in with Kodama Platoon, but he's a real hard worker. Everyone be nice to him. T don't make fun of me. No one's making fun of you. I know you'll be nervous at first, but try to get along with everyone. We're a family here in Kyoka Platoon. Think of me as your mother. You can talk to me about anything. <sighs> oh, right. I guess I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kyoka Eden, and my power is duplication. I'm leader of the 8th Company of the 1st Regiment, and commander of 1st Platoon. Everyone else, introduce yourselves. Gemma Garrison. My power is Scalerokinesis. Nice to meet you. I guess there are no volunteer soldiers here. Volunteer soldiers? People that joined the OSF because they wanted to, not because they were scouted. They're trash compared to scouts like us. Sheedan, I won't have discrimination like that in my platoon. It's not discrimination, it's just a distinction. Take it back. Sorry. Um, I guess I'm last? I'm Haruka Frazier. My power is telepathy. Nice to meet all of you. Good. Now that everyone's been introduced, it's time for your on-the-job training. We'll be operating in teams of two. Kasane and Shiden, Gemma and Naomi, connect your SAS. I'll support everyone as commander. We'll rendezvous at Mizu Hagawa in one hour. Dismissed. Hey, Kasane. I'm team leader. Got that? I'm worried. What? You don't think I have what it takes? Huh? What are you yelling about? What? You... Sorry, but I'm going to get myself on a different team. Where does a new scout like you get the gall to make fun of me? Are you an idiot? What? <laughs> Kasane! We're all in the same platoon, so we have to get along. Sorry about that, Shiden. Why are you apologizing? I'm just worried about being separated from you. I'll go ahead and talk to the Major. Kasane, despite my looks, I'm the commander here. I'm much stronger than you, so don't worry. Also, from what I saw of her results, Naomi is a great fighter. You should believe in her. Understood, Major. Good. Remember to be nice to Shiden. Let's go, Naomi. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's connect our SAS. I'm the leader. What? You have a hearing problem? No! Good. Let's go, and don't fall behind. We're going to Mizuhagawa. You little... Kasane, hold up a second. You're Haruka, right? Yeah, nice to meet you. I have a message for you concerning bias. Seems like I missed you in the original communication. Sorry. Bias? It's the name of a brain assistance system that amplifies and helps maximize your power. It's being developed by the OSF. Every year they choose subjects to gather combat data on the system. You've been chosen as one of them. It's still in development, so it's unstable and they're not sure of the side effects. So they want me to be a guinea pig. What am I supposed to do? I'm glad you catch on quick. Well, it's in order, so you can't refuse anyways. Try starting it up. I think it finished installing along with other systems. Is this it? Nothing really changed. The system is working in your brain, using your power to make visions visible. Powers are just the ability to visualize in the end. They get stronger the more you focus on them. SAS connection should be smoother as well. Unfortunately, the pain never gets any better. I got the gist of it. I just need to keep it activated at all times. Also, this is just a rumor, but I thought you should know. Some say bias can cause people to lose their minds or become emotionally unstable. So take it easy. Tell me right away if you notice anything strange. Sure, I'll tell you if I do. Sorry to take your time, 
Don't be late for your mission. See ya. An experiment. I wonder if it'll work. Well, worrying about it won't change anything. The rendezvous was at Mizuhagawa. I'll head out when I'm ready. Everyone's here. Major Eden, may I ask a question? Oh, Naomi, we call each other by our first names in the OSF. Don't be so formal. No one looks their age here. And our ranks? They're just words on paper. The OSF only recognizes strength. I don't like to say we judge on strength alone, but that's mostly how it is. So, what was your question? R right. Haruka isn't here yet. I wonder if something happened. Haruka is our platoon's operator. She directs us from the back with telepathy. Can you hear me? I'm able to communicate telepathically within a 500 kilometer radius without the system's assistance. It's draining though, so I need you to join the group. Naomi, Kasane, open your personal ports. <laughs> The team leaders are Naomi and... Oh, Kasane. That's awfully nice of you, Shiden, letting the new scout be leader. No, I... I thought it would be best this way, so I volunteered. Huh? Well, well. <laughs> it's big of you to go along with that, Shiden. <sighs> okay, let's get this mission on the road. Follow Haruka's navigation to the specified goal. Take out any and all others you see along the way. If you decide not to fight, I authorize you to retreat. That's all. Copy that. Okay, be careful. Don't provoke Sheedan too much. Can everyone hear me? We can use Brain Talk to communicate whenever we want, even when we're split up. Let me know if anything happens. The new urban development ward? What a boring assignment. It doesn't matter if a mission is boring or not. You're such an idiot. No real others come out here. It's the perfect place to train cadets. When your power gets as strong as mine, What are those drones? Oh, man! They found us even though we were jamming them. Major Kyoka, crows. What? I didn't know we had any crow bait with us. Crows? Do you mean the press? They're probably after little Miss Randall. She's a hero that saves civilians. No. Kadama Platoon is in the restricted area farther in. They're probably here for Arashi. Poor Arashi. Always surrounded by crows. <laughs> Finally got out of Kodama platoon, but I still end up fighting along with them? Listen up, everyone. I know the crows will be in your way, but try not to get distracted. Don't those crows realize that we jam them because we don't want them around? There's nothing we can do. The press uses their right to broadcast OSF activity to do whatever they want. It's depressing, but it's the price we pay for being famous. Thank you later. I confirmed a water attack. Are you okay? Seeing what makes it hard to lose. I'm allowing you to connect to me through SAS. Do your best with it, if you can. The enemy 
begins attacking with electricity, you'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. Kasane, the enemy is stunned and can't move. Belt's flow changed during construction, and now a lot of others appear there. There aren't many powerful others, but everyone should still be careful. Are you nervous, Naomi? Your breathing is getting a little shallow. Oh, yes, a little. But I'm okay. Just take deep breaths. You're worried about Kasane, aren't you? She was worried about you, too. You must be close. but there's still heavy machinery all over. The bridge that runs over the river is still used as a trade route, too. have a big problem with her she acts like everything's fine i have no idea what she's really thinking also she was hard on me for some reason situation. Are you getting along with Shiden? Shiden. Yes. Did you just forget I was even here? <laughs> wow! Team Kasane is first to the goal! Uh, Team Shiden would have been first, too. Shh! Something's here. Good one. You picked up on the other before I did. Wait a minute. This one's a major other. Major? Gemma? A major other has appeared at the objective. Major others are others that killed OSF members in the past. Yes. Here it comes. I'll intercept. We'll be there in a few minutes. Just hold on. Contact with a major other. Don't overdo it, Kasane. She then follow her lead. Now we're talking. Hope you're ready to see how strong I am. Quit barking then. It's time to show me some bite. <laughs> this is the other that killed an LSF 
soldier. It's too dangerous to rush in blind. Use your head. For example, there's materials hanging from the ceiling. You could use that. Are you okay, Kasane? A major other on your first mission. Don't worry, I'm fine. Did we do it? <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? I can protect myself, thank you very much. <laughs> Victory! The Scarlet Guardians have won! <sighs> the hero of this fight is, of course, Second Lieutenant Kasane Randall, who took down a major other on her first assignment. Congratulations, Lieutenant Randall. Let's hear what she has to say. How do you feel? Y you must be tired. Your first victory on your first deployment. Isn't that satisfying? She didn't give all the orders. Ask him about it. What? So sorry I'm late. That was a good fight. Oh dear. Poor Sheedan. This is Arashi. Sorry, looks like you caught the crow's attention. Arashi! You're right. They got Sheedan. We'll take them. That's not like you. Kudama gets depressed if there are no crows around. Hi! Captain Arashi Spring! We're about to do a full sweep for others. Looking forward to seeing all you reporters there. Oh, they're finally gone. Let's go back to Suo, everyone. Copy that. Kasane, Shiden, well done. Kasane, I'm just glad you're okay. No wonder you graduated at the top of your class. Is that Yuito? Looks like he's in Seto Platoon. Damn. Why did he get in Seto Platoon? Good work today, everyone. We had some trouble, but nobody got hurt. So it was a good day. Your assignment for today is over. Your next orders will be sent directly from the higher-ups. You can't deny a deployment order. So go to the designated place and time and carry them out. Suppression missions and training can be taken on as you please. You should think about participating if you have the free time. Oh, Seto. The pampered Sumeragi kid. What's with the attitude? Wait, Naomi? Oh, Nagi and Yuito. Naomi and Kasane. Hi. Good job today. Gyoka, are you training rookies too? Yes. We got a bunch of cuties again this year, so I have to do my best. My guys are doing well. Hey, Kasane, was it? How was training? I think I did as well as I could. Good. <sighs> Kasane? Wait... What is it, Naomi? Uh, oh, um, are you alright? Huh? Oh, I'm fine. I just saw you on Himuka TV. You looked way too composed to be a rookie. I was very impressed. Uh, thank you. Uh. Kyoka Platoon. Everyone except team leaders is dismissed. Team leaders, come with me to headquarters. Same for us. Team leaders to headquarters. Uh, Kasane? What? Um... Have we... met somewhere before? We fought an other together. Did you forget? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Not that. Uh... So, 
You have a sister. You mean Naomi? Did you get hit in the head? <sighs> You're weird. But your power was pretty good. Good luck. Oh, uh, thanks. Are you done talking to them? Major, what do you think of him? Him? You mean Yuito? Hmm. I didn't actually hear the full details, but rumor has it that Major General Karin has his eye on him. I see. That doesn't tell me if he's good enough for Naomi or not. Well, let's go back to headquarters. We have to let Haruka know we're returning. I'll go with you, Kasane. I'm leaving now. Are you curious about Yuito? No, I just wonder if he's right for Naomi. Kakasane! Ah, well, uh, it's nothing, Major Kyoka. I've got a nearby resource reading. Kodama, I thought you were in Mizuhagawa. <laughs> I just got back. Are you taking care of the rookies, Kyoka? Good work, Kyoka. You're an excellent mentor, so I'm sure the rookies will feel comfortable with you. It's an honor to hear that from you, Major General Fubuki. You must be Kasane and Naomi. I'm sorry the crow showed up on your first mission. Why are you apologizing, Major General Fubuki? Those crows were actually out there for Arashi, so I guess you could say I feel responsible. I see. I saw your grades from the Academy. You both have great powers. I'm sure you'll hear a lot from outsiders, but do your best and don't let that distract you. I'm counting on you. That was good, you two. <laughs> that was great, Kasane. Good for us? Major General Fubuki is Septentry on second class. It's so cool that he said he was counting on us. If you say so. Since he acknowledged you, I guess Major General Fubuki is a good man. Welcome back. I saw the Major through the window, so I thought I'd come meet you. The mission is complete now that we've notified Haruka. You're free to do as you please now. You can train or go on a suppression mission, whatever you want. Of course, resting is part of your job too. But just sitting around will dampen your skills, so don't get too comfortable. I'll head out. I'll go too, Major. Me too. All right. If that's what you want. Kasane, you come with me. Naomi, you help Haruka support us. I want to go too. No, you can't. Did someone from my family talk to you? No. You're still tired from training today. I just think you need some rest. Kasane is still good to go. You understand, right? Yes. All right. Let's head to Kikuchiba. the distress signal was sent from. Kagero should be there. Understood. Let's hurry, Kasane. Understood. I feel reborn. Well, 
should be able to take them on efficiently if we keep it up. because the Randalls asked you not to. It was a logical decision given her physical strength. I decided it was dangerous for Naomi to be sent out on consecutive missions. Logical. She can't say it as commander, but it's obvious she was pressured. Come out wherever you are. You're a nasty one. Kakuro, we're here to help. Major Kyoka, you're a lifesaver. This is getting out of control. Here we go, Kasane. Understood. Thanks, you two. I guess you could say you're my guardian angels. What are you doing here? I just... well... I thought I saw an other I was looking for around here. I came alone to check and then this happened. How embarrassing. Anyway, we have to look for my commander. Apparently he lured away this crazy other when he came to help me. Captain Seto... is he here too? He is. I'm sorry, but can you do one more favor for me? I can't leave my commander behind. Yes, let's go after him. He's a Septentrion, so he can't be killed that easily. But better to be safe. Kikuchiba is a city that was attacked by others five years ago and was abandoned. The vision in the sky is caused by damaged projectors. Tentrion for you. Kyoka, 
And is that Kagero and Kasane? It's not safe around here. It looks like the other's numbers are growing around Togetsu. Kasane! You're so cool, Captain. I think I might be falling for you. Oh, what a man. Knock it off. Your praise never sounds genuine. Are you hurt, Kasane? Oh, no. I'm fine. Good. I'm glad. Oh, that's not good. Your back is bleeding, Seto. It's just a scratch. You got that defending me. I'm sorry. No, this is my fault. Don't worry about it. Let me see. This is bad, Captain. We need to treat this. This place isn't safe. Luca could move us if he were here. Um, there's an emergency shelter near here that the Randall family used to use when they traveled to Togetsu. It will be safe there. I'll send you the coordinates. Oh, that's good. Captain? Major Kyoka? Let's go. Sorry. I'll show you the way. So this is the Randall Shelter Unit. Rich people even have comfy shelters. This is a nice place. We could get a lot of work done if we used it as a hideout. A hideout? What do you mean? Oh, you haven't heard yet. Each team has a safe house outside of headquarters that we call hideouts. We use them as relay points if someone is hurt far from headquarters, and when we need to resupply or rest during missions. They're basically secret bases. Hey, could we use this place as Kyoka Platoon's hideout? You say some crazy things sometimes, Major Kyoka. This safe house is civilian owned? I don't mind. The Randalls have more safe houses than they know what to do with. I found the first aid kit. Captain Seto, I'll patch you up. Please show me your back. The wound was pretty deep. I'm glad we found a first aid station. Sorry to bother you with it. You haven't treated many wounds, have you? Did I do something wrong? No, you just looked a little unsteady. Your hands were shaking. You're not just the cold hard warrior I thought you were. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this, Captain Seto. I've never really done this before. I'm usually the one that gets hurt. My sister is much better at this than I am. Oh my, so little Miss Randall is a tomboy. Actually, I'm adopted, so I don't count as a member of the Randall family. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Well, all families have their problems. I'm an immigrant from Togetsu and joined the OSF as an adult. It's, uh, complicated. As an adult? Someone scouted to the OSF much later in life. The elites treat us just as badly as the volunteer soldiers. Come on now, I don't treat you that badly, Kagero. That's why I love you, Captain. There you go again. Anyway, thanks for fixing me up, Kasane. You're welcome. Since we're here, we should probably get some rest. Seto shouldn't be moving until the bleeding has stopped. All right, time to get some shut-eye. Weren't you saying you were looking for another? Did you find it? What do you mean, did you find it? How could I? I was attacked by two major others. Oh, I see. Well, if you're going to act like that, then how about you do something for me? What? W what do you want? You know the fountain pen I got as a gift from Major General Karin when I was made a Septentrion? I think I dropped it somewhere in Kikuchiba. Uh, you mean that really expensive-looking platinum-decorated fountain pen? 
That's the one. Think you can help me buy a new one with your savings? Captain, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> I'm kidding. I shouldn't have been walking around with something so important, but it bothers me not having it. What a mess. Hmm? What's wrong, Kasane? Oh, nothing. This was the first time someone got hurt because of me. I said don't worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna get some rest. It's Naomi Randall. I'm coming in. Thank you for coming all this way. Sorry you had to go shopping just because I got hurt. Don't worry about it. This unit hasn't been used in a long time, so it's out of a lot of things. I apologize for the inconvenience. There's nothing for you to apologize about. That's right. We're the ones who just barged in here. Thanks, sis. Don't mention it. I'm so happy you trusted me with this. Aren't you being too easy on your little sister? Maybe, but she's so cute I could just eat her up. Naomi... <laughs> Must be nice. Oh, Sheedan, you don't have to look so sad. I think you're cute, too. <laughs> what makes you think I was sad? <laughs> I'm glad you're getting along with your new platoon so well, Sheedan. Hey, I know you requested to transfer to my team. I'm sorry we couldn't take you. Captain Seto. A transfer request? If you can do that, maybe Naomi and I can transfer together. Hmm. And then what? I guess things are fine the way they are. Get a big head just because you beat a major other. I'm not. I would have gone to help Captain Seto. Why Kasane? Damn it! Uh, Captain Seto? What is it, Kasane? It's, um... Sorry, it's nothing. I don't know what to talk about. This has never happened before. You really are capable, Kasane. I think you have abilities beyond a rookie. But exterminating others is always dangerous. Don't overestimate your own skills. Understood. So, was there something wrong with my tactics? No, that's not it. Sorry, just keep it in mind. A message from Yuito? I should probably check it. Yuito wants to see me? Perfect. I'll need to see for myself if he's worthy of my sister. I also might be able to find Captain Seto's fountain pen in Kikuchiba. Hey, you came. Thank you. Now, about my message. I'm glad you get straight to the point. I was getting tired of people who force small talk. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry. Let me just say something first. Hmm? What is it? Is there anyone you like? What? What's your type? What are your plans for your future? Are you interested in taking over Randall Industries? Wait, hold on. Why are you asking me that? He'll take advantage of Naomi if he figures out how she feels. Who wouldn't be thrilled to be liked by her? I'm running a background check. Is that the reason? Is that why you agreed to see me? Not just that. Captain Seto seems to have dropped his fountain pen around here somewhere. I wanted to talk to you anyway, so I thought I'd ask you what you knew about it. 
His fountain pen? Now that you mention it, I guess Captain Seto did have a nice one. How come you're looking for it? Why? I wonder. So even you like to ask too many questions. Huh? Don't look at me like that. We can talk while we look for the pen. than a generous one. Actually, that feels a little sad. I guess you're not as useless in battle as I thought. That was unexpected. I think he might be able to protect Naomi. Hey, I have something I want to ask you, too. Is that all right? What? When I was little, I was attacked by another and almost died. But then someone from the OSF saved me, and she looked just like you. So, I was wondering if you knew anything about it. We're about the same age. When you were a child, I would have been one too. No, I mean, maybe you have a much older sister. Shh, quiet. <laughs> An enemy. Get ready to fight. Okay. It's done. Looks like we won. Huh? Isn't that Captain Seto's fountain pen behind you? This is it? Thanks. You were a big help. Anyway, back to what you were saying. About the OSF person who saved me? Did you check the OSF registry? Of course, but I didn't find her. I thought maybe she was discharged. Oh, right. The person who saved me had the exact same hair clip as that one. Can you tell me where you bought yours? That's not possible. My sister made this for me. What? Really? 
How is someone he met as a child wearing an accessory my sister made? Is his present mixing with his childhood memories? Hmm. Your power is psychokinesis too. Do you think you might be having realistic dreams? Dreams? Hmm. I can't really say for sure. I was a kid at the time, and my memory is a bit hazy. I've always had strange dreams. Oddly realistic dreams. A woman mutters something about red strings, and then red threads encircle me like a cocoon. I thought my dreams were real when I was a child. It was confusing. I thought that since you also have psychokinesis, maybe you had realistic dreams too. No, I'm sure it wasn't a dream. It has to be real. That person gave me this ear cuff. That's not possible. There must be a misunderstanding. Maybe he suffers from delusions. I see. Then I don't think I can help you any further. Oh, no, I... <sighs> I'm sorry. That was a weird thing to bring up. It's fine. Well, we found the fountain pen, so I guess I'll head back. Right. Thank you. That was a good background check. He's not ready to take care of my sister yet. More importantly, I need to give back Captain Seto's fountain pen. All right, goodbye. Excuse me, Captain Seto. I came across this, and I believe it's yours. Yes, it is. Where'd you find this? I was just in Kikuchiba and happened to find it there. It was just luck. Oh, I see. Well, thank you very much. This is very important to me. I'm glad to have it back. Yes. Well, I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to go rest. I'll be going now. That's a good idea. Rest well. I think I'm tired. I should rest. Is Kasane asleep? Yeah, she must have been beat. I guess that's to be expected. Everyone's nervous on their first day. So much happened. You're right. She looks like she has it together, but she can be awkward sometimes. By the way, Seto, you seem to be really concerned about Kasane. Yeah, sorry. She's your new scout, but I just can't get my mind off her. She reminds me of my first new scout. She was pretty awkward, too. I heard. A major other... Yeah, and I couldn't protect her. I'm reminded of her every time I look at Kasane. But I might have taken it too far. I'll be more careful. I'll be taking Kagero back to Suo soon. What are you gonna do? I'll wait with Naomi for Kasane to wake up. Oh, and Seto? Can you take Shiden with you, too? He looks up to you, so I know he'll be happy if he can go back with you. Roger. You're so popular. I'm jealous. <laughs> well, it's an honor to hear that from the prettiest girl in the OSF. All right, see you back in Suo.